Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm really excited because we are going to be doing a Natasha Denona haul. So if you want to see the pieces that I got, then just keep watching. A huge thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this portion of today's video. If you're new to my channel, I actually have worked with Ana Luisa multiple times in the past and I continue to keep working with them because I love their jewelry and I just love spreading the word about their jewelry. Their pieces start at $39 and right now you can get 20% off during their summer sale. So I wanted to show you some of the pieces that I personally picked up that I love. We're going to start off with actually what I'm wearing right now. We have these cute paper clip earrings. They just look so adorable and dainty. And then I also have this dainty paper clip necklace. How cute do they look together? I love how small the chain is, but it still feels high quality. Like it does not feel like it's going to break. I also got another pair of earrings, which I thought was really unique. I do not have a pair like this in my collection. There are these double hoops. They're gold and they have a cute little pearl and they look really cute on the ear. Just something different to add a little extra interest. All of their pieces come in really nice pouches so that you can keep your jewelry safe and you have somewhere to store them. Great for traveling. Ana Luisa really has become my go-to for small dainty jewelry because I feel like dainty jewelry can break very easily and I have not had any of their pieces break. Like I said, I've been working for, with them for a while. None of my pieces have started to rust or change colors. I'm naughty. I take showers <laughs> with my jewelry on and again, nothing has changed color. Nothing has broken. The earrings don't irritate my ears, which a lot of times I found with other earring companies. Over time, my ears start to hurt a little bit. With the Ana Luisa, I can sleep in them, wear them in the shower day to day, every day, and my ears never get irritated. So I can speak personally on the quality that these pieces will last you. Now is a great time to try out their pieces if you've been wanting to. Again, you can get 20% off for their summer sale. Make sure you click the link in my bio and it will link you to the website and they have so many other different styles that I wear constantly in my videos like 80% of the time I'm wearing <laughs> their jewelry so with that being said let's get into the video you guys I am so unbelievably grateful and humbled to say that Natasha Denona actually sent me these products. In case you missed the exciting news, I got to be a part of their Macro Blade Liquid Liner campaign. And while I was speaking with them, they let me put together a list of some things that I've been wanting and offered uh, to send me some items. So this haul is going to be showing you the items that I picked up. So excited. <laughs> I am wearing all of the items that I picked up, but first we're gonna Let's start off with the juicy item, the good item. I picked out an eyeshadow palette. Now I do have the majority of Natasha Denona palettes, but they've been split between my mom and I the last few years, and her obsession with the Biba palette is so deep that I'm gonna let her keep hers, and I asked if I could have the Biba palette sent to me, so I now have a fresh Biba palette. This one isn't one that I've used in a very long time just because it's not in my current possession, but I am excited excited to have this back in my collection. It is a gorgeous neutral palette. As much as I love the unique colorful stories that Natasha Denona's palettes have, there's something about this one that's just a great quality and they're colors that you feel comfortable with. So I am wearing this on my eyes right now. You can see we went pretty smoky so don't underestimate this palette you can get some pretty dramatic looks with it and the quality in here is just impeccable it's one of those palettes where I never really wanted to purchase it for myself because I had all of these colors but at the end of it all it ends up being a palette that is used so frequently because it is those colors that my boring self gravitates towards it's absolutely beautiful the quality is beautiful it's a great everyday palette and if you are a neutral wearer and you are intimidated by Natasha Denona's palettes and her color stories, this is a great one to start off with. And I guarantee you it's probably going to be one that you'll use a lot. I don't even know why I asked for this. <laughs> I've been wanting it just because I feel like it's a big claim. So I got the blackest black eyeshadow. So she sells this in a single and it's supposed to be the blackest black. And 
It's in acrylic packaging, kind of similar to what KKW was in. This is made in Italy with a 24 month shelf life. And I mean, it has a cute little mirror in it and you can see it is quite black. Now I haven't really tested its true capacity because I did use it today. It is what smoked out out here and along the lower lash line but I went very, very light and I used blending brushes because I wanted more of a hazy look, not something crazy black. So I'm gonna need to continue testing this, see how it works as an eyeliner to really see if it's truly the blackest black. But you know, it's a balance because if a black is super black, a lot of times it's really hard to blend and you can see I was able to get this blend. So it is blendable. It wasn't exactly what I needed. I have so many blacks in my collection, but I just wanted to know, is this really the blackest black. I will definitely have to keep you guys updated but as far as the use today I really liked it. There is a black in the Biba palette right here but it's the cream to powder formula so I did want something a little bit more black, a little bit more matte so that's why I opted to use it today and it looks good. I am loving the way my makeup looks. It's super dramatic but also still neutral. This is my kind of look. I picked up a blush that I've been wanting and these are Definitely underrated from Natasha Denona, but she has these blush duos and she has some really wonderful colors. So I just got the shade number two, which is Renee's Pastel Pink and Light Antique Rose. So it comes in this cute pink packaging, very simple, has a mirror and then you open it up and it's gonna reveal two blush shades. So I believe this is Renee's Pastel Pink and this is Light Antique Rose. I am wearing Light Antique Rose today because I did want something a little bit more neutral as opposed to pastel, but I really enjoy her blush formula. I think it's really nice. I think she has some really nice colors. You get a good amount of product, you have a few options. So again, an underrated product from her. All of her powder products really are beautiful, but this one, you know, people don't talk about her blush duos, but they are very, very nice. And my mom had a couple, so that's how I knew that I liked them. So I wanted one for myself. I wanted to bring this to your guys' attention that these are really, really good. This is something that I've been eyeing for a while, and I didn't pick it up when it came out because I certainly did not need it, but it's so cute, and I think it's going to be so great for travel. And I'm really small. I like really small things. <laughs> me being small and me liking small things have no correlation at all. Don't know why I said that, but it's true. I do I do like small things. I think they're so cute and this is actually a very good value. So I got the Blush Glow Duo. You can see how tiny it is. I love it. I know I have like swatches and makeup all over my hands right now. But here it is in comparison to the blush duo that I just showed you. And like I said, this was not something that I needed, but it was something that I wanted. You know, Natasha Denona in a mini size. So here is what the product looks like. The shades are all over glow in the shade number one light. And then the blush is golden coral. I didn't use the blush today, but I do have the highlight on as expected. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous highlights. And I believe they sell this highlight in a full size. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's great if they do because this is a much better value considering you don't really use your highlight, you know, it's really hard to run through a highlight. This is beautiful as I expected it to be. I really enjoy the glow here. So I'm excited to use a blush because this corally kind of shade is my kind of color. Just didn't go with the vibes for today, but I think I'm really going to love this for traveling and just because it's cute, you know, it makes me happy to use. I love Natasha Denona lip products as much as I rave about her palettes. In the last couple of years, she's really stepped up her lip line and I've very much been enjoying her formulas. So a newer formula from her are the I Need a Nude Lip Crayons. I I didn't even pick them up when they first launched. I wasn't interested because in my mind, I was like, Natasha Denona really is for powders only. And then I got one during a Sephora sale and I love the formula, but what I love more than her formula is her color range. She really does come out with the best shades of nude. So I got three new lip liner colors. I have one right now and I use it all the time. It's a creamier formula and they last pretty well, but what really 
what sells me about these are the colors. So we're gonna start off with Julia. Julia is a perfect nude shade. Now it is more of a mid-tone rose. Has a little bit of taupiness to it as well. This is gonna be a great everyday color for the types of lipstick colors that I love to wear. This is gonna be the lightest of the three that I picked up. The next shade that I picked up is, I might be pronouncing this wrong, but Ilana. I believe I-L-O-N-A and this is such a unique color. This is almost a little bit of like a plummy kind of taupe here. I think it's gonna look really beautiful if you do cool toned looks because it does have a cool undertone to it. I do not think I have another lip liner like this so if you're looking for a shade that might be a little bit more unique, I, I personally feel like I don't own a color like this and I do have a lot of lip liners so I think this one will get a lot of use from me. The last lip liner that I picked up is the shade Dana and this is a shade that I'm wearing right now. It is more of the brown based shade that I picked up. It's a little bit more on the cool side and I'm obsessed with it. I love light to medium brown lipsticks because I just love a nude lip so much and this is perfect for that nude lip gradient. I mean you can see what I'm wearing. I have a light nude lip color and then I just have that dark brown on the outer parts of my lips to really make my lips look bigger to add some definition and because I just love a neutral smoky look like this they are going perfectly right now. So this is my favorite color I think that I picked up. I do think I'll probably use this shade Julia the most of the three but I I really love this Dana shade. It's gonna go well with so many of the lipsticks that I own. I have raved a many a times about the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude lipsticks. So the lipsticks came first before the lip liners, but these rocked my world. They are amongst my favorite lipstick formula. The only thing is they are very soft to a point where they can almost be too soft. So if you live in a hotter climate, make sure these don't sit out in your front yard if you order them because they will melt. They break a little bit easier, but luckily the formula is so amazing that I forgive it. It's not a drying formula. It's just so soft and comfortable. So I picked up two new shades. Didn't need any more because I have so many already, but I picked up a couple that I didn't have. So the first one that we have is Avril. This is more of like a medium mid-tone kind of pink. I think if you have a medium to deep complexion that you are going to hoe love this. It was very pretty on me. I don't have a color like this. However, I do prefer a lighter lip, so it was a bit dramatic for me, but I'm really excited to see what I can do with this and what dramatic looks that I can create. For my skin tone, this looks like to me the perfect evening dinner date dramatic lip. It's not super dark. It's still, you know, approachable, but it is kind of deep on my skin tone, but I'm really liking it because the other shades that I own from this formula are pretty light because that's what I gravitate towards. I'm really excited to have a deeper color in this formula. I'm talking about how deep that lipstick is. But I got an even deeper one, but I thought that this one was really unique. I don't have very many browns in my collection, so I got the shade Naya. And honestly, I kind of thought about this more so for my makeup kit if I have deeper skin toned clients, but I don't know, I really like it. It is a mid-tone kind of brown here, a little bit deeper than mid-tone, but I don't wear brown lipsticks quite enough and I think in the winter a brown lipstick just looks really cool. I don't know that I'm cool enough to pull it off but I'm excited about this one. It looked really good on but it's just different. I'm not used to seeing myself in a brown lip but it looks really good and most importantly I just love the formula of these so much and I'm slowly collecting all of the colors that she has because when I say this line has some of the best colors I truly mean it. If you didn't know the lip liners actually the names are corresponding to the existing I need a nude line. Like there is a Dana lipstick. There is a Julia lipstick. So you can actually buy them kind of in a duo and they're going to look really good together. The last item that I picked up is a lip gloss. This is one that my mom had and I love it. This is my kind of color. This is the Lipophoria in the shade nude. <laughs> and you guys know I love a nude and this is actually called the Gloss and Balm. So it's supposed to be hydrating on the lips. I don't know exactly how hydrating it is. I definitely consider it more of a gloss than a balm, but it has a lot of 
great pigmentation to it. So right now I have the Dana lip liner underneath. I don't have any lipstick on. I'm just using this right on top of the lip liner and you can see how much pigment this has. It does not need a lipstick even with the deeper lip liner. It melts right in. It's not too sheer. It's perfect to just wear with a lip liner and I just love this kind of nude. It does feel a little bit gritty. You know, it's not the smoothest lip gloss that I have. It's not the shiniest lip gloss, but I love it because I feel like it lasts a long time for a lip gloss and I love the level of pigmentation that it has. And this color is my kind of color. I am so into it. Like I am feeling my makeup today. Anyways, you guys, that is all I have for today's haul. That was the last item. I mean, I don't really like calling hauls hauls if I didn't actually spend my own money on them but this is what I decided to pick up from Natasha Denona so a huge thank you to Natasha Denona for taking the time to even offer to put this order together for me I am so unbelievably thankful you guys know Natasha Denona is one of my favorite brands and of course a huge thank you to Ana Luisa for being a sponsor in today's video so make sure again if you want to pick up any pieces that you click on the link down below in the description box and if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel already I would absolutely love it if you would consider taking the time to do so I will see you all in the next one bye guys have a good one